and thanks for joining us for this week's Eagle Eye. I'm Katrina vogel Sang. And I'm Tygen Kennedy. Today on our show, we'll check out the Eagle Excellence Program and we'll see another AV showdown. We'll also take a look at how one student is recovering from a jet ski accident that happened this summer. But first, here's Ashley with a look at what's happening on stage and in debate. For this week's A-List, we decided to take a closer look at what's new in the AVHS Fine Arts Department. Last weekend, the theater department featured their fall musical, Little Shop of Horrors. With a great audience attendance, the show proved to be both heartfelt and funny. The theater is holding auditions for the Laramie Project tonight in preparation for the winter play. The debate team has been working hard all fall to maintain their tradition of excellence. The Minneapolis Debate Tournament was held at Apple Valley two weekends ago. There were over 250 competitors from 20 states competing. The Apple Valley Debate Team had a successful showing at their own tournament. The Traveling Debate Team will be competing at Glenbrook, Chicago, Illinois this weekend. Tonight, the AVHS Dance Department will be holding their fall show, Just a Glimpse. The show will include pieces from Dance Tech 1, Dance Tech 2, Choreography and Media, and Advanced Dance Company. The dances range from hip-hop to contemporary and modern dance. Make sure to check out the talent and hard work these dancers have put into the show tonight at 7.30. That's all for this week's A-List. Back to Katrina and Tygen in the studio. Thanks, Ashley. Good luck to those dancers and debaters. Another way students will be expressing themselves on stage is in the Def Jam event that will be next Wednesday. Check it out. Each month, students, teachers, and families check out the new faces on the Eagle Excellence Wall in the main hall. Here's Ian with a closer look at what the Students of Month program is all about. Each month, students are being called out of class. Hi, sorry to interrupt. These students aren't in trouble, rather they're being called out because they've stood out for good reasons in their classrooms. Although over 200 students have gotten the honor to be Eagle Excellence Student of the Month, it's still pretty unique. And each teacher just gets one, one per year, so it's a pretty special award. For many students, this award is the first time they've ever been recognized in school for their hard work. Sometimes it's that very quiet student, that unsung hero, that teachers say, you know, this is someone who has not been recognized in any other arena, but I surely appreciate what they do in the classroom. A few things I really like about Eagle Excellence, it's consistent with our district philosophy to educate each student to their fullest potential. So it might not necessarily be your top A student. On the last Tuesday of each month, teachers, students, and their families gather to celebrate the honor at an early morning breakfast. The ceremony, well, it's early, but everybody seems to get there. Each teacher talks a little bit about why they chose their student and what excellence looks like in their classroom. Actually being noticed for doing all the things I do is, is really nice. The November students' pictures will go up next week. Reporting for Eagle Eye, I'm Ian McKegg. Thanks, Ian. Congratulations to those students who have earned that recognition. National Honors Arts had an excellent day for the food drive yesterday. There's only one more day to fill up the media center pit. Bring in those items. Thanksgiving is right around the corner, but the events of the 4th of July are still affecting one AVHS sophomore, Sydney Gilbertson. Well, at her family's cabin, she was involved in a jet ski accident. Here's Cecilia with more about how she is doing. Not much has changed for Sydney Gilbertson. She's still part of the soccer team. Oh, I wasn't able to play this year, so I sat on the varsity bench and did statistics. She still has a passion for dance. I'm still making it work. She's keeping up her grades, but it's just taking a little longer. I can't write with my right hand, and that was my dominant hand, so I've been using an iPad for school. She's taking tests after school. So on one hand, not much has changed for Sydney, but on her right hand, everything has. We just got done tubing behind a jet ski with my friends and we were going back to the boat. So I got on the back of the jet ski and we pulled up the rope like we usually do and I had it wrapped hanging from my shoulder. And then we started going back to the boat and we went a lot faster than expected and I fell off the back and the rope constricted around my bicep and was pulling me and I, everything got cut besides the bone. Sydney was airlifted to Regents Hospital where she faced eight and a half hours of extensive surgery to repair the damage. But what's amazing is that she hasn't let this accident change her positive attitude. Right after the accident when we were in the helicopter, she was conscious the whole time and her comment was to one of the ladies, uh, paramedics in the helicopter about how Sydney liked her eyeshadow. Four surgeries later, Sydney's positive attitude is not only impacting herself and her family, but is inspiring those around her as well as her dance teacher, Miss Kathy. It doesn't matter what your physical ability is, anyone can move, anyone can dance, 
And I think Sydney is going to pave the path to prove and to show to everybody that that is possible. There's always going to be the negative side to it, but I'm just trying to stay positive because everyone around me is always asking, oh, well, isn't this bad and isn't that worse? But there's always the reason to look for the good things. If there's anyone that can get through this and work through this, it's Sydney. Yeah, she's quite remarkable. Reporting for Eagle Eye, I'm Cecilia Liu. Thanks, Cecilia. We hope things continue to improve for Sydney as she goes through hours of physical therapy. This week marked the beginning of the winter sports season. We posed a little challenge for one player to see how things look for the basketball season. Here's Tanner with the story. This week, we decided to take a look at how good our Eagle basketball players really are. We set up our star, sophomore Robert Traboxin, to see how his three-pointers match up with Stephen Kerr, who holds the NBA record for the highest average of making the three, which is an outstanding 45.4% of the time. On an NBA court, the distance for a three-pointer is 23 feet and 9 inches. A player must shoot a ball that is 9 inches in diameter through a steel rim measuring only twice that. We challenged Robert to beat this record. Let's see how it plays out. Robert made a shocking 8 out of 10 three-point shots, shattering the NBA record by almost 40%. All we need is Robert to carry this talent to the school season. Good luck to the basketball team this year. Reporting for Eagle Eye, I'm Tanner Wild. Thanks, Tanner. Robert wasn't the only person challenged this week. Teachers were too. Here's the last AV showdown. Good morning and welcome to this week's AV Showdown. This week we have the Battle of the Subjects. From our science department we have Mr. Michaels. For math we have Miss Moynihan. In English we have Mr. McCluskey. And social studies we have Miss Case. Our contestants must try to gather six penne noodles onto a raw spaghetti noodle. Three, two, one, go. So sorry, Miss Moynihan. I think you mean Miss Moynihan's. Thanks for playing, teachers. Good luck at State Girls Swim Team. That's all for today. Thanks for watching.